So what is Omicron uh, and what does it mean for the future? We can start with what we know. One thing we know, that we know is there's two ways to pronounce it. So Omicron and Omicron. All right, that's the easy part. But we also know that this new variant has many mutations that make it different from previous variants that we've seen. In fact, it has far more mutations than we've ever seen in a circulating variant. Now, what the effect of these mutations will be is still uncertain. While the exact level of transmissibility or the ability to spread is not definitively known, we have seen that in South Africa, for example, where this variant was first sequenced, it's rapidly become the dominant variant. It's outcompeted the contagious Delta variant. Furthermore, we've seen this variant now identified in 20 different countries. That was updated about an hour ago, 20 different countries now across five different continents, suggesting that it has a substantial ability to spread. And what we do not yet know is the severity of the variant. Is it more or less likely than Delta to put you in the hospital? And we also don't yet know the ability of the variant to evade the immune response, particularly how effective our vaccines will be against it. And we'll certainly more, more, know more on these fronts in the coming days to weeks. What we can be quite confident in is that this variant will soon be here. It is likely that in the next day or two, we'll sequence this variant somewhere in the United States, and it will rapidly spread to our community as well. In our very first briefing on coronavirus back in March of 2020, standing in person in the apparatus bay at the Milwaukee Fire Department, I said that this was a time not for panic, but for preparation. And that could not be more true than today. Our vaccines have been effective against every variant we've seen so far, and it will likely have a pretty good level of protection against this one as well. So getting vaccinated and getting boosted is the best way to prepare and to protect yourselves and your families.